Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habit fila continue on in our reading of Imam Fouzan's uh, treaties about the importance of istighfar the fadl of istighfar the benefit or the superiority or the virtue of seeking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Imam said he says it is legislated to seek forgiveness when finishing a sitting Whereas the Prophet وسلم, ordered that when a person stands from a sitting, he should say, O oh Allah, high above you are from any deficiency, and you are praised. I seek your forgiveness, and I turn to you. So if the sitting was good, it will be sealed upon him as such, as the Prophet وسلم, said. And if it was other than that, it will be an expiation for him. And we mentioned in the last sitting that sometimes you can be in a, a gathering of good, a gathering of the righteous, a gathering of dhikr, a gathering of of khair and so if you ended on khair and you made istighfar then that's sealing it with khair but if you ended a gathering and the gathering was a gathering of shar the gathering was a gathering of backbiting was a gathering of evil a gathering of cursing and speaking about the righteous a gathering of a fisk and fasad then this will be a source of forgiveness for the sins committed during that gathering. Then the Imam says, and it is legislated to seek forgiveness during the end of one's life and in the condition of old age. Allah said to his Prophet وسلم, when he was appointed, his appointed time was near. And when comes the help of Allah and the conquest of Mecca, and you see that the people enter Allah's religion in crowds. So glorify the praises of your Lord and ask for his forgiveness. Verily, he is the one who accepts the repentance and forgives. So even the Prophet والسلام, was asked or commanded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's an important, it shows us the importance of this, that there it's an immense virtue if the Prophets alayhim afdal salatu salam, the best of mankind, were asked uh, to seek forgiveness from the, uh, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then you and I am in Babel Ola, that we have to seek forgiveness from Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. Imam Fuzan then said, Therefore Allah made the conquest of Mecca and the people entering into the religion of Allah in crowds a sign for the nearness of the end of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam appointed time. And he ordered him when this time came to seek forgiveness. Therefore it is befitting for you, O Muslims, to be uh, continuous and hold fast to seeking forgiveness at all times and to increase in it during the mentioned times and conditions in order to gain these virtues and obtain the good. Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to increase in seeking forgiveness. Narrated by Imam Ahmed Rahimahullah Ta'ala and the Imams of the Sunan from the Hadith of Ibn Umar Radiyallahu Ta'ala Anhu who said Indeed, we counted the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam seeking forgiveness 100 times in one sitting, saying, My Lord, forgive me and turn to me. Indeed, you are the oft returning, the most merciful. And in the Sunnah of Ibn Majah, it was reported that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with a good chain that he said, Glad tidings for the one who finds in his record a great deal of seeking forgiveness. Servants of Allah seeking forgiveness means to request forgiveness from Allah along with erasing the sins and concealing the shortcomings. It is also a must that one refrains from sins and disobedience. So this is imperative for us to understand that it's not just simply that we seek forgiveness and we make no efforts to come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In fact, we have to be sincere in our repentance and come to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be, and, tr and strive our best to remove ourselves from those sins and those sinful gatherings and those sinful environments and those places which encourage us to do wickedness and sin. And then he says, as for the one who seeks forgiveness with his tongue while remaining upon disobedience, he is considered a liar and seeking forgiveness does not benefit him. Wallahum is'an. al fudail ibn Iyad. Rahimahullah Ta'ala said, Seeking forgiveness without ridding oneself of the sin is the repentance of the liars. And he also said, Our seeking forgiveness is a sin itself that requires seeking forgiveness. 
meaning whoever seeks forgiveness and does not abandon disobedience, then his seeking forgiveness is a sin which requires seeking forgiveness. So let's look to the reality of our seeking forgiveness so that we will not be from the liars who seek forgiveness with our tongues while we remain upon disobedience to Allah. This is absolutely imperative that we reflect upon that and that we're sincere with our istighfar. How many people they lie in, in the middle of their joking, in the middle of their lying, they say istighfar and then they go on and continue the joke. Maybe a joke related to the religion, maybe a joke about some major sin, maybe some sort of playing in some sort of act of evil. That doesn't mean to ever abandon that. That's not what we're encouraging. And that's not what the Sheikh is saying. The Sheikh is alerting us to the important point and that this is the madhab of the Salaf to be sincere. That you have to be sincere to Allah. You want that forgiveness. You want Allah to forgive you, not just it just to be an exercise of your tongue and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and bless us with ikhlas with thabat wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina